Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to show you about splenixis in the imaging. Presentation most common signs and symptoms typical is symptomatic and incidentally identified. Other signs symptoms like alcohol pain, particle mass, splenomegaly, plus minus elevated zero, CA, CA 125, or CA 199. Lysis is predisposed to splenic torsion and or doses. Top depression analysis, splenic lung formula, splenic infection, splenic infarct, splenic perfusion in particular, Intrasplenic pancreatic pseudosis. Imaging, vascular, vasconscribe, round splenic mass, follow with characteristic on all modology, claw of spleen, splenic tissue along margin of large axis, confirming spleen as organ of origin. Typically, solitary and unique can occasionally have seen a rim of calcification. In the other sound, typically, suffix to the monstrous cystic nature, an echoic hypoechoic with increase through transmission can have low level internal echoes. No internal flow on color, power, local order sound. No enhancement on contrast and NCT, MRC plus or contrast and hand order sound. Typically, hypo intense on pre contrast T1 or less proteinases or hemorrhagic content. Yeah. This is grayscale and color doppler ultrasound image. So an incidentally detected mildly complex splenixis with since septation in a 10 year old girl, pathology confirmed a benign epidermoises. Contrast and NCT in a teenager who was involved in a motor vehicle accident several weeks prior, so hypo around us adjacent to a pre uh, laceration consistent with the uh, post traumatic cyst this is a color doppler ultrasound in a 16 years old with a post traumatic splenic cyst so uh, dominance with smaller adjacencies in an area of Decreased perfusion related to ischemic injury. SSFSE T2 MR in a 17 years old patient with a post traumatic splenic cyst, so heterogeneous signal intensity in the lesion due to aging blood. Production. Again, this is the SSFSE T2 command. So, innumerable small cystic membrane, lymphatic malformation throughout the spleen. Patient with generalized lymphatic anomaly frequently have number of cystic bone and splenic lesion in addition to soft tissue malformation 
and possibly pleural disease. This is T2 MSMN, so a close of splenic tissues play along the inferior margin of the lysis. The claw sign can have determined the organ of origin for a large mass. This spleen cyst, this splenic cyst was benign and portromatic. Treatment, small and symptomatic masses typically require no treatment. Larger or symptomatic masses may undergo surgical incision or splenic bone. Thank you.